Okay, good afternoon. So I want to give a lecture on how to handle these expressions in Boolean algebra and how to simplify them without so much difficulties and to watch of which the first one is Boolean operators and also we'll look at the Boolean postulates and also we're going to apply the Boolean laws. So then how would you put all these things together? So please pay attention as I simplify this. And I'm going to apply all the laws that can be applied on this okay, uh, manner. And also, I'm going to apply all the postulates and the operators which can be applied to solve questions. And we've got A bar plus A B. So now let us quickly move on to this other side of the page. Then we're going to look at our solutions. We've got solutions. And then we are going to solve these. So now let's look at the first one here. The first one is bar plus a b. All right. I will do solve this question. To begin with, we need to understand which law can be applicable here. associative associative law to handle this question so with associative law you look at what is common first what is common in this expression okay. what remain there is what is b bar plus what plus b so now the question is which post rate will work in this way so you have to consider the which apply and we know a letter okay a letter plus a letter bar is always equal to one so in this case we are going to apply this we we'll substitute this expression here with this post rate of one so so you're going to have A, then the brackets we put 1 just like that. So again, A times 1 is basically A dot 1. My dear, you have a text message. Again there, the expression that you can follow. Okay, if you look at the post rate, which can work there. We have A dot 1 is equal to is equal to 1 all the time rather is equal to the letter okay a bigger pattern so a dot 1 is equal to so in this case this one a dot 1 the answer is basically a so you can see the expression of a bar plus a b can be simplified to a according to the laws that you've applied the associative law and also the two posts that we've looked at you must remember to apply the, the laws and also the post rates and also the operators that you are working with. All right. Now let's look at this other question here. All right. So this B is saying, okay, A plus is a body. So how do handle such an expression? Remember, all what we need, because there's nothing common here, all what we need is a common value. Of course, we expect to have a b here. Now we cannot just insert a b a okay this a here 
is same as a dot one, right? Plus a bar b. This has not changed anything. This is same as that. Since we remember again, by doing this, we have not changed a because this, okay, is same as one. Okay, same as just basically a. The purpose of us doing this is to introduce a b this side so that if later on entered in this manner a times one is basically a a times b is a b plus a bar b in this way now of course something that you can work with look at this side right this side don't forget that this side there is a don't forget that fact now what is this which post rate can we use put into a post rate so which means you're going to substitute this one okay with this one we we'll, we'll place it with this one so it, which means it is going to be a plus b in the brackets right? that we can actually follow in this case the post rate which will guide us so b dot one basically is the letter okay which means this are there will be equal to a right plus b so this is our answer so basically, this is how you handle expressions of this nature. We introduced a one there with a view of having a B introduced on A. And after doing this, we expanded this and we came up with this okay, common value or common letter, which is a B, and later on so what you replace one we put it here so you can have one there again if you multiply b times one you get b dot one so this we've got a post rate a letter dot a one is to be so this is how come this expression people is same as this one so i've simplified it we can't go beyond this very simple also as long as you apply the post apply the operators that are appropriate right good let's move on let's move on people let's look at uh, this other question remember we are discussing these questions and want to see how we can apply these things okay Okay, so now let's look at uh, this question. Okay, let's look at this question C. So this question is A plus B bar bar, right? There is A B bar plus C. You can see there, there is a bar covered in this expression. And there's a bar now covering everything. So the question is like this. How do simplify? So now at this moment now very, very important okay, when it comes to combination logics in computer architecture. So De Morgan normally deals with the opposites. Okay, so works with a not operator very well. opposite of all the things we have remember we know a dot the opposite is a plus right that fact we need to understand it right and we know a plus the opposite is a dot so once you understand these things clearly like a, the opposite is a bar 
and a bar the opposite if you put a bar on a bar then it cancels then there is right so a bar bar normally is equal to nothing it cancels all together so it equals to nothing so if you have a bar for instance you have a bar then bar so this bar and bar will cancel eventually we just have what we just have a so let's read these de morgan uh, principles very clearly all right so if that's the case now we can begin looking at this expression so Right. So if you look at this first part, De Morgan, De Morgan, got into what you have discussed here. Yeah? If you De Morgan, you do the De Morgan, the De Morgan, you basically get nothing. It cancels, as we can see here. So basically, in this case, this and that. You have is what is below here, a plus b bar. Nothing will change them. But remember, this has not cancelled. It's only here, only where it has disappeared but here it will still affect this plus and remember we said a plus becomes a dot if you do Morgan so Daddies, them say we don't know how to marry we... okay so I was talking about this okay that the bar and this one cancels as you can see from here but this one does not affect a plus so eventually this becomes a dot here yeah? again here as you can see from which means what is below won't won't change so we're going to have okay we are going to have a b bar plus c so our expression here is actually plus b bar like that and then a b bar plus c why put in brackets because a dot is similar to a multiplication so the next thing that we need to do people is to now since you are simplifying is to explain quite similar to the expansion principle in mathematics so we are going to have this bracket multiplying a bar plus c bar multiplying a b bar plus c so this is how we are going to handle these expressions as we can see so just begin with this one here so a times this one there is no a squared so we are going to have a b, then we have got b bar then plus okay a times c it will give you a a c Right, we move on to this one. So B bar times this one you get the further alphabet order. So say A B again just remember there's a post right here which shows that A dot A basically is same as just pick one letter. So here there'll just be A B B bar dot B bar, you just pick B bar. So here there will be A B bar plus B bar C. So the question is, do you have something common? A B bar plus B bar C. We can take this to A B bar and A B bar. These are Common. So we can have A B bar plus you can also take is the same, you can just pick one of these according to the post rate. So there will just be A B bar plus what is common here? C is common, so you can have A
so it has simplified as you can see right we have simplified so this question here applying all the laws that have gone through the De Morgan law and this far here all right so basically as you do these computations don't forget to apply the laws that you have discussed all right all right let's move on people let's move on let's look at this which a bar open bracket and they've got a b and then we've got a c what about the length it can be simplified if you apply all the laws well so we're gonna start with this because this we need to do some expansion so this is to apply so multiply a b bar times a b so we'll say a a then b bar b plus then this one a b bar times a c to b a a right and c plus we move on to this other side plus c so just take it easy as you do these computations pause look at the process what can you do okay what is common here so for example in here we have this this basically people is one right this one is simply a so what you have is this people here yeah? so you move on step by step just like that so as you follow all the steps well you find zero this one according to the post rate all right so this and that is common so just take one of this all right take one of this this and that is common this is more like we've got a plus a which is basically a so this to be just this okay one and you pick that c there so what you have is basically a b bar c plus c anything common here people take your time anything common yes amount i want to have a b bar plus one all right people now if you remember this which post rate are we going to apply which post rate are we going to apply any letter plus a one gives you a one one in the bracket then c dot one so what is this people according to the post rate is basically c so people this is how you handle divide and conquer take your time look at what law can i apply here what prostate can i apply here what operators can I apply there if you put all these things together you find that such simplifications are very very easy next time i'll also show you how to simplify expressions using kmap or queen mccluskey see you next time